panel, this is Bezo Kanjia TV News. We'll see how the highlights of some of the news making the rounds today. I am blessed. The United Kingdom and Nigeria are considering exploring the potentials of Nigerians in the UK to key into investment opportunities in Nigeria. The Nigerian equity market recorded 674 billion naira in a seven month period ending July 2014, just as the market moves towards a slower growth for the year. The Central Bank of Nigeria has planned to auction treasury bills worth 195.18 billion naira this week. The move is in line with the regulator's decision to continue to manage the volume of liquidity in the system as well as to control inflation. Less than 24 hours after the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority lifted ban on the regional operator Askai Airlines, the carrier has announced immediate resumption of services to Lagos and Abuja. The Bad Electricity Distribution Company PLC IBEDC, in charge of electricity distributions in the zone, has promised a daily 15 hour electricity supply to consumers in Ibado and its environs. The incident attacks by Boko Haram Group have taken its toll on the real estate sector in most states in northern Nigeria, where the prices of properties have significantly been slashed. And on sports, Nigeria's Golden Eaglet have made it to the final qualifying round of the 2015 African Under-17 Championship after defeating DR Congo's the Leopards 4-0 in Sunday qualifier at the NKO Abiola Stadium in Abokuta. For details on this news briefs, please visit www.visualnigeria.ng. You can also follow us on Twitter at Nigeria and like our fan page on facebook.com forward slash Nigeria. I leave you for now with the words of Marcel Proust. The real voyage of discovery consists not in seeking new lands, but seeing with new eyes.